What's up, guys? Behind me is something very exciting to announce to you. If you follow us on Facebook, you may have already seen this. If you're from this area, you may have already heard about it. But behind me is our new location. So this is opening in Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. That's North Pittsburgh in like the North Hills area. It's about an hour from our current shop right now. What we're gonna do is take you inside, give you a tour inside and out of this property. Uh, we bought this about two months ago now. We've been so busy at the shop, we really haven't had a chance to focus on this one. But we are now, we're gonna be open hopefully in the next two months or so. So everything that you see outside here, all of this paved area, the whole way back to the, the woods line there, is all ours. It's about four acres, it's all paved. There's like room for 250 cars or so outside here and probably another 60 or 70 inside. So this was a Chrysler dealership originally in the 80s, in the 70s I believe as well. And then it was a motorsports dealership most recently. So let's go check it out. So one thing that's super cool about this, because it was a dealership, these are dealership showroom doors. Don't mind the beeping, Luke is in here on a scissor lift, but these open up so we can get cars right into the showroom as well. So in addition to the garage doors in the back, if we wanna park some stuff in here. So this area will be the showroom. And if you're familiar with our showroom now, this is probably three times the size, if not bigger than that, of what we have going on in Latrobe. So we're gonna have a sales counter, I think over there. And this is where all of our display material is gonna be for Expel, paint protection film, window tint, ceramic coatings. And those are the three things we're really gonna focus on down here. We're gonna have some truck accessories like just the typical tonneau covers and things like that that we sell now. Um, but we're not planning on expanding into anything new. We're just gonna do what we do really well and do a lot more of it. Over here in the corner, we're probably going to build out a little display area where we're gonna have a car on display in the showroom. So. Right now, uh, we're talking to Justin from Horsepower Obsessed. He's our good friend. We might have the ZR1 in here as the first car, but we're gonna be doing a lot of car storage and I'm about to show you that. And so somebody every month basically will have the opportunity to display their car and not have to pay us for that month. And that leads us to this gigantic hallway. I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but this is like a couple hundred feet long. We're gonna be doing indoor car storage, like a sort of a luxury car storage idea, more of like a valet service. So basically, you store your car here, you pay us a monthly fee, and when you want it, you call us 24 hours before, we'll make sure the car is pulled out front, ready for you, washed, ready to go. So a little bit different than some of the indoor car storage that you see like around La Trobe area where you park it in October, November, and you can't touch the car until April. We're gonna have somebody here full time, obviously, because it will be an operating shop. So somebody from our customer service team will always answer the phone and be able to get your car ready for you. So over here, Luke is currently working on replacing the lights, and I'll show you the pile of lights we have back there, hundreds of lights. We're swapping everything out from the older fluorescent style to LED. That's obviously gonna make our building more energy efficient, but also just the lighting itself is really important for what we do. So if Luke is currently working on it, so the breaker's off, but we'll show you that at some point, how much of a difference there is from the LED to the fluorescent. We're doing that every single light in the entire building. With that being said, if anybody is a scrapper or whatever, if you need some fluorescent light fixtures, we're gonna have a lot of them. We installed all new emergency lighting. So you see those around the building. Um, those are the battery operated emergency lights. So in the event of a fire or whatever, and the power is lost, those will turn on so you can still see how to get out of here. And we're still in the process of cleaning, of course. There's some old garage door panels from the garage door over there. We're gonna be painting the whole inside of the building just like our Latrobe location. So the same colors, the gray with the black stripe and the lime green. Back here, I don't really know what the heck we're doing. This place is so big. Uh, we have a, a part storage area because that's what this was for the motorsports dealership. So. If you guys have any ideas of what the heck we can store back here besides our inventory, I'm all ears. I don't even know what the light switches do yet. Come on upstairs. This is the behind the scenes not so pretty stuff. This is the stuff the customers aren't really ever gonna see, but we have a loft back here with a bunch of other storage, again, not sure what we're gonna do here. Maybe th this will be like an employee lounge or something and we'll have couches here. I... Kitchen, there's another kitchen though. So I'll show you that too. So that's basically one half of the building here. This is again, where most of the car storage and things are gonna happen. And I'm sure as we grow and do more and more tint and paint protection, eventually we'll probably do some of that out of here as well. But over here is gonna be mostly the working area. Again, still work in progress. We're still cleaning up, still doing a lot of that. This is all waiting for the dumpster to arrive. We've got a big pile of stuff uh, that the 
previous owner left us that we're making sure we get out of here. So we've got our garage door and there's a bunch of offices and things up there, which I'll show you. Um, but this, this wall is eventually gonna be basically knocked out. So not completely, but we're gonna have a really big hole here with a, a fireproof door. And that's going to allow us to be able to get cars from this side of the building to that side of the building without having to go through those showroom entrances. So above us here, these are those like metal, I don't even know what they're called. Some kind of crazy halogen lights that are really, really high wattage and really expensive to run and slow to turn on. You probably had them in your high school gymnasium. That's where I remember seeing them. Um, we're gonna go turn them on. It'll take 10 minutes for them to warm up, but these are all getting replaced with LED high bay lights as well, which are right here. So these pallets that you see <laughs> are all of our LED lights. So if you ever wondered what $15,000 worth of LEDs look like, this is what you're looking at here. So every light for the whole building is right here and we're super excited to get those in. So around here, this is gonna be our work bay. That's mostly our paint protection film. Our window tint's probably gonna happen right up in front of the main garage door there. This is gonna be our paint protection film and ceramic coating area. And it's horrible right now, it's super dirty, it's ugly. When you see it in a couple months, it's gonna be beautiful. So we're, we're relining all of these walls with brand new metal, taking all of these lines and lights and all that stuff off of the walls and it's gonna look like a brand new area down here. Obviously pressure wash the floor. We'll probably do an epoxy floor at some point like we have at the Latrobe store. Probably not right off the bat because we wanna get rolling soon here. So there's another upstairs, up there is like a little mini kitchen lounge area plus more storage and a whole other set of bathrooms with a shower. So for nights that we're here till midnight, which is probably going to be all the time, we can sleep here. And we've got more offices than we know what to do with. I still haven't even figured them all out yet. Um, this was the service area of the dealership, obviously. So you can see the whole service counter over here and it's got the big service drive area. Probably gonna do maybe our car deliveries here, have our sales people, our phone sales people and social media people probably working out of this area. And then beside me, we've got our, our what will be our waiting room. If you're waiting on it for tent, you can hang out here. We've got some bathrooms and nice big office. That one's gonna be my office. And just to be clear guys, we're not moving from Latrobe. We are adding a location. So we will still be operating fully out of Latrobe and here. There's also gonna be another location coming soon, so stay tuned. We've got more offices, a lot of offices. We generally need like one or two offices and there's like 10, so. We're gonna find something to do with it though, we always do. Two up front there, that'll probably be Luke. You guys know Luke from Latrobe, he's the one coming down here to be the manager. And we've got a little kitchen area, which is super cool. We don't have that in Latrobe. We had to sacrifice things like that in a conference room. And this office by request is gonna be John's Gibsonia office. So the man behind the camera, he wants this office because in Latrobe, everybody walks through his office. It's like a path to get to the other half. Here, nobody will bother him. It will be wonderful. Thanks, Autovlog. Your video for your pink Raptor just went live and it's doing wonderful. We appreciate that. So over here, we need lots of landscaping done outside. So if you are a landscaping company near Gibsonia, call me because we need an estimate from you. Under here is our service entrance area. Again, everything that you see on the outside is gonna be cleaned and painted. It's gonna look just like our Latrobe location. So right now it's a little rough. This is where we're gonna be doing drop-offs and probably pickups as well. So once your car's done, we'll pull it out here underneath the service entrance, which is gonna be nice on rainy days for sure. Lots of HVAC units. There's like 10 of them in this place. And it stays really cool. The whole place is air conditioned. The whole place is heated. So if you're doing car storage, the building will be fully climate controlled year round. All of this was from the old dealership. This is like old air compressors and stuff that's not even operational anymore. So all of this little building thing out here and those compressors are all gonna be gone. I had to break in the parking lot. So there's some donut marks from the Hellcat. <laughs> I'm sure there will be plenty more. I love to do donuts. Oh, we got a groundhog. Did you get him? We have a groundhog friend. And over here to my right, we, we do own all of this, the whole way up to the road and up there. So we need to clean this up still, but this is going to be some outdoor storage as well. So as you can see, we have way more space than we need. Boat storage, RV storage, just general car storage. If you want to store something, but don't care about it being inside, that's what this area here is going to be for. So in the front of the building, you can tell that the landscaping has not been well kept for years. So 
all of these bushes are coming out. All of those railroad ties are going to be coming out. We're going to be redoing everything that you see here, taking care of the weeds popping up through the asphalt, all that good stuff. At some point, get new light posts up. You can see where there used to be light posts. I'm assuming they just got old and rotted and they took them down for that reason. That banner's coming down soon. That will soon be replaced with a blackout tinting sign. We're going to be ripping these red awnings down because those are ugly. My dad's old school. He thinks we should keep awnings. We're not keeping awnings. We're going to tint all these windows with architectural film like we do. Keep the heat out, keep the UV rays out of the showroom. That's the grand tour of the new shop, guys. 18,000 square feet of blackout, three and a half times the size of our Lake Trobe location. We are super, super excited for this new location to open. Like I said, it'll be in a couple months, but there's a lot that has to happen between now and then. So if you enjoy this kind of behind the scenes stuff and seeing what's going on, we're going to create a series of basically what's happening with this new shop. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can check out everything that's going on here in Gibsonia and at the next location. We'll see you soon. You didn't think I was gonna leave without doing a burnout, right?